nobody knows Arizona like you do. So what is your pitch to bring fans of any team, I guess, out to Arizona? Well, first of all, um, you got a great time of the year in spring training. You can watch baseball games just about any any area of the Valley. Um, but look, I have a son, uh, my youngest son in Flagstaff. That is an unbelievable community. Um, Sedona is not too far away. So it's obviously going back to your playing days. You spent the majority of the time coming to the Cactus League rather than in Florida. What is the biggest difference that you remember as a player playing in the Cactus League rather than playing down in Florida in spring training? As a player, you, you remember the bus rides and uh, the lack thereof, really. The, the commute here in Arizona is a maximum of 45, maybe 50 minutes. The commute in Florida can take you two hours and you get on a bus at 7 in the morning and uh, you, know, you end up at your destination stiff, uh, but having to go out and play. So. The best part about the baseball is that um, the spring training stadiums are, are small, they're intimate. Um, you get up close with the players. You can sit on the grass in the outfield with your family. Um, and it's just, a, it's just a laid back kind of intimate experience that I think is different than a regular season game. A little bit of baseball here. So obviously, the, you know, outside, probably a lot of debate on who the best player is on this team. But in your perspective, who's the funniest player on the team right now? On our team? Um, you know, Jake Cronenworth kind of has a little subtle uh, humor to him. He was doing some, today, some, you know, show, showing some batting stances and so forth and, and doing stuff like that, which kind of resonates on a baseball field. Fernando Tatis can be a guy that's really funny, but he's also the guy that laughs the hardest, so he can make anybody feel like they're funny. Um, and Manny Machado's got a little subtle humor to him as well. Um, so we got plenty of that on our team. What are some of your favorite places to go and grab a bite before you head over to the field? Well, see, the, now that's the thing, because we're way out west. We're in Goodyear. So, I mean, I don't even come to this side of town. I, I, I take it back. When we do come over here to play, like if we play the Rockies or the Diamondbacks, I'll bring my clothes and I'll go to the casino when we're done, because we're going to get stuck in traffic anyway. So I'll go over there and and I'll stay for an hour and just to beat the traffic, but I don't come over on this side. There's plenty of golf courses around. Do you have a few favorites that you like hitting up? Uh, you know, I like playing PGA uh, Scottsdale, um, and I'm gonna play uh, Silverleaf. I like Greyhawk. Um, so I'm gonna try to do the circuit uh, this spring. My golf game is pretty good right now. Cantero Golf Club, we were just out there a few weeks ago and the general manager there was saying that Mookie likes to go out there a lot. So you might have to tag along with Mookie to Cantero. Yeah. It's kind of in the middle of nowhere. It's peaceful, it's really nice. I like out in the middle of nowhere. So I'll, I'll take Mookie out there and he can give me some strokes and take some money from him. So he's good at just about everything. So he's he might, he might show you a few things. He's good at everything. He can show me a few things on a golf course. The Dancing with the Stars tour is going to be in Mesa in oh, March. Right. I don't know if you were planning on going. I Well, now I am. <laughs> now I actually might stop by if I'm free. Uh, that'd be nice. I'll see who's on tour with him. I hadn't uh, followed who, who's on tour this season, but it would be nice to run into uh, a couple of those people. It's got to be a really tight group there while I was there. Who would be your pitch to be on the show out of all of your players? Who, who has the potential to win it? Oh, man. Um, I don't know. Uh, Cody Bellinger really quickly has become a real uh, favorite of mine. Like, he's just got a good, relaxed vibe. He wouldn't take himself too seriously, uh, and I think he would have fun with it. So um, I hope he doesn't hear me say that. You're probably, say, maybe the best-dressed manager in baseball. I think that could be fair to say, just from some of your fits I see on Instagram. Is that just part of who you are? Is it just kind of something that you like showing off? Or what goes into your Instagram and all the fits and everything? I mean, I would say the majority of the photographs are, are baseball uniform photographs, but also I think Instagram and any social media outlet is a way to kind of show some personality. Um, I don't think it's any secret, I, I like clothes, and so I'm very comfortable in, in suits, jeans and boots, t-shirts, like all of it. Is there anyone on the team that can compare with your drip, your swag? Um, I'm sure, I'm sure. We, I don't think it's it's very difficult to compare because it's such a subjective thing. It's like art or like music. So you mentioned hiking. I do a hiking segment for Sports 360 AZ. Okay. Favorite hike in Arizona? Um, man, I'm gonna forget all the trails. I mean, my favorite one I've ever done when I was a player here, I hiked Camelback, got to the top, and that was, I mean, I'm pretty sure everybody says that. Uh, full disclosure, I'm not a, uh, I'm not a regular hiker. Uh, but I've done Camelback many times, 
as a player when I was here with the Giants. Oh, I used to go up Camelback all the time. That, that was a, you know, you felt like you accomplished uh, going up Mount Everest, and it, you know, it's it, it, it just a lot of fun. In fact, when I managed uh, uh, or coordinated an instructional ball, that was our conditioning. I'd put the guys on a bus and make, make them go up there. Yeah, I mean, Camelback Mountain, why not? It's a challenge, though. Yeah. It's it's not an easy hike. I would not say, hey, you know, if you've never hiked or you, you know, have hiked a little bit, go go tackle Camelback. I, I like Camelback, but it's also always crowded. It's a really good, challenging hike. Um, you know what's really underrated is just walking Papago Park and like climbing into the, the little caves. Yeah. Piesta Peak is probably my favorite hike though. Um, it's a little more traditional, it's upright. It's got a lot of guardrails protection. So between Piesta Peak, Camelback, you can't go wrong. Do you think you'd be the first manager to the, t the peak of Camelback? I think I might be the last. I love going to Sedona. Uh, absolutely. I mean, I think that's a great day trip if you come down here. Bob Melvin lets me park at his house, uh, and, and we go and I go hiking over there. That leads me to something Craig Council said. He said when he wants to go hiking on some of his favorite hikes, he parks at your place. What's that like? <laughs> yeah, he, it's uh, he, he yeah. I, I, I give him a little little help there because sometimes to get some of these trails, it's, it's difficult to find places to park. So he played for me. I'll I'll, I'll throw him a bone every now and then.